Aaron, the artist is the owner of the Crystal Rose Collection in Monterey. He says he put a lot of his own time, effort, and money into this project, and he even did it while his daughter was sick in the hospital with leukemia. He says he's proud of the way it turned out and is saddened by the fact that it's now turning into a controversy. Growing controversy in Pacific Grove over this humpback whale sculpture at Berwick Park. In May, the Pacific Grove City Council approved turning these dying cypress trees into pieces of art. The PG Rotary Club raised $8,000 for the project, and after two and a half months of work, the artist, Jorge Rodriguez, unveiled this in October. We tried to do the best that we could, and this is the best that we could do, you know. And uh, it'll be a piece here that will stand for years and years to come. But now the piece is creating controversy. The original plan was not to paint these whales, but Rodriguez says he ran into some wood rot, and so the plan changed. Those whales are not painted at all correct. There's no whale that exists on the planet that represents those whales. As an artist, it's really kind of insulting to me to see the bright paint in a natural view shed. Sometimes it takes a while to accept something new and different. As a piece of public art in a park, that big of a deal when PG has much more serious problems to tackle. And because of the hands-off approach by the city council on this project, locals are now demanding change in the future. The city council voting Wednesday night to implement a public art policy so the city can have a more involved approach on future art projects in Pacific Grove. The city council doesn't want to be put in a place of judging art. Um, they want to put a policy in place that would alleviate any public art coming forward without it being fully vetted. If they don't like the paint, you know, I mean, if they want to repaint them a different color, they can pay me for the material and pay me for the, my, time, my actual time to do it, and we'll do it. As simple as that. Now, California and federal laws do protect artists' rights, so there can't actually be any changes to those whales without the consent of the artist. But the city manager will be reaching out to Rodriguez and hoping to make some changes. Erin. All right, thank you, Lauren. The city council also passed the public art policy for future artwork in the city.